welcome to the Northwest Ohio Realtors Annual Gathering. At this time, I'd like to invite Amy Saylor with Key Realty to deliver the invocation. For our prayer, I'd like to read a very short poem from the 14th century Persian poet Hafiz. It's called The Sun Never Says. Even after all this time, the sun never says to the earth, you owe me. Look what happens with a love like that. It lights the whole sky. May we all be equally generous with our own light that shines from within. Amen. Thank you, Amy. I tried to get my family to do the Pledge of Allegiance for me. However, my kids did not think it was such a good idea. But my not-so-camera-shy husband, Jeff Smith, is going to lead you in honoring our country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we continue, please join me in a moment of silence as we remember those members who passed away in 2020. Joyce Brondes, David Browning, Don Decker, Walter DeGroft, John English, Joe Hall, Ed Cook, Bob McDonald, Ray Murra, Gary Noakes, Maria Potzinger, Alan Robertson, Paul Sargent, Jackie Shepler Brown, Richard Smenner, Kim Wanger, Darlene Zenz. As we reflect on all of these individuals for their dedication to the industry, I would like to highlight a few for their service. Paul Sargent was a realtor for over 50 years. He served on the OAR Legislative Committee as well as past president for the Toledo Board of Realtors. Richard Smenner served as president of the Toledo Board of Realtors in 1983 and was the 1968 Broker of the Year and 1984 Realtor of the Year. In addition to serving on numerous committees, he also was a lifetime member of the President's Sales Club. Alan Robertson was the only two-time recipient of the Realtor of the Year Award, receiving it in both 1990 and 1999. He was also the 1993 Citizen of the Year and received the Distinguished Service Award in 2012. In addition to serving as the Director for the Ohio Association of Realtors, he served on numerous committees at the local level and was instrumental in the creation of the TBR Scholarship. Dave Browning was a Realtor for 46 years and leaves behind a legacy of unparalleled involvement, professionalism, and dedication to the real estate industry. Dave was the 1988 President of the Toledo Board of Realtors, the 1989 Broker of the Year, and received the Distinguished Service Award in 2018. He was a RPAC major investor, served as a member of the Local Association's Board of Directors for 18 years, and as a director for Ohio Realtors for 10 years. Dave's true passion in the association was professional standards, and in addition to serving as chair of the Professional Standards Committee, and as the chair of numerous hearing panels, he was also an NAR certified mediator and helped create the association's ombudsman program. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember all of these individuals. During my year as president, I got the opportunity to work a little more closely with the NORA staff and get to know them. The team members are Megan Foose, Chief Executive Officer, Jody Bader, Financial Services Director, Yolanda Edwards, Membership Administrator, Sharon Hubbard, MLS Director, Lori Kedry, MLS Assistant, Bonnie Martin, Administrative Assistant, and Claire Morrow, Communications Director. I know with this past year, you haven't been able to stop in the office. However, as things open up, I hope you get the opportunity to thank them for all that they did, especially having to transition from going home, working from home, and then back in the office. They tried to make our jobs pretty seamless, and we tried to keep things running as normal. So take a moment to thank them, and I, I appreciate all that they've done. 
So many people have taken time to volunteer to help us out. I'd like to now recognize 2020 committee chairs. Tori Kroll, Affiliate Committee. Debbie Hafner, Grievance Committee. Patrick Kajowski, Legislative and Government Affairs Committee. Char Winkowski, Professional Standards. Mark Remus, Norpak. Nick Amlin, YPN. If you've never served on the board of directors, you probably don't have an appreciation for the time and dedication directors commit to the association and our members. They're often behind the scenes and seldom get the recognition they deserve. Your 2020 directors worked exceptionally hard this past year. The members of the 2020 Norris Board of Directors are Dan McQuillan, President, Phil Navarre, Treasurer, Mark Remus, Norris Rep, Jim Loss, John Mangus, John Modine, Scott Seipel, Kevin Smith, Sam Schweitzer, and Blaine Wells, Joan Rao, and Lisa Smith. The members of the 2020 NOR Board of Directors are myself, Lisa Smith, as president, Joan Rao, president-elect, Tony Bassett, treasurer, Jason Westendorf, past president, Mark Remus, Norris representative, Jen Aldoy, Mike Krause, Tori Kroll, Maggie Fawcett, Sarah Ford, Debbie Hafner, Kathy Kuya, Joe Lyman, Ashley Redner, Sean Siwa, Kevin Warren, and Brian Witta. At the end of last year's annual gathering, I outlined my theme for this year as the year of engagement. Although we had to get creative in how we engaged with each other, we accomplished a lot this past year. We were able to roll out an updated purchase agreement and addenda, rebranded as Northwest Ohio Realtors, created a COVID addendum and resources, provided housing updates to Area Chamber of Commerces and Rotaries, hosted a food drive and Habitat for Humanity Playhouse build, hosted a virtual legislative breakfast and drive through Smile Big with Santa, received an NAR placemaking grant to support an all-inclusive park in Finley, provided doTERRA drug deactivation kits for free to our members, completed a member survey and member communication survey, rolled out online new member orientation, hosted our second leadership academy, upgraded the single sign-on dashboard, created a diversity, equity, and inclusion task force, created MLS Facebook page and NOR Instagram page, and our MLS team has been busy. They added counties to the realist tax data, increased the number of pictures allowed per listing, as well as the number of characters in the public and agent remarks section, added the virtual showing option in showing time, created a model home rule. In addition to these accomplishments, NOR has continued to increase our advocacy on the local level. And I'd like to invite Megan to give us a brief look at NOR's 2020 legislative accomplishments. This year had its ups and downs legislatively. On the state level, our biggest win was ensuring real estate was deemed an essential service and you could continue to do business. Non-COVID victories on a state level included amending the elevator safety bill, fighting legislation that will increase taxes and conveyance fees on commercial real estate transfers, supporting legislation to expand broadband internet access to underserved Ohio communities, lobbying against unnecessary and duplicative wording on Ohio's residential property disclosure form, advocating changes to the commercial broker lien law to benefit commercial brokers in lien disputes. Locally, things were a little more challenging. We worked with the City of Toledo to launch their Home at Last Down Payment Assistance Program and interviewed and supported candidates running for Toledo City Council, Hancock County Commissioner, and Defiance County Commissioner. We also provided feedback and addressed areas of concern in the City of Toledo's Lead Safe Housing Ordinance and Source of Income Protection legislation which were both passed last fall. As we move into 2021, we will continue to monitor issues that affect our members in all 10 counties served by NOR 
and we'll make sure to bring them to your attention via the weekly email and broker email. Hi, I'm Mark Remus, your 2020 RPAC Chair. I'm frequently asked why members should support RPAC. The accomplishments Megan mentioned are just a few of the reasons. Whether it be ensuring the passage of the CARES Act, ensuring that realtors and affiliated professionals were deemed essential business workers, or supporting local elected officials that make decisions affecting our communities, we can be assured that our RPAC funds allow the realtor voice to be heard loud and clear. None of these accomplishments would have been possible without your support of RPAC. Your participation is not only an investment in your business or career, but an insurance policy to guarantee realtors a seat at the tables where major legislative decisions are made, allowing each of us to continue serving our clients and being the definitive authority for protecting private property rights and property ownership. This year, we raised over $104,000 and 52% of our membership invested in the Northwest Ohio Realtors Realtor Political Action Committee. These are phenomenal numbers considering all that we had to deal with in 2020. Our PAC's major investors are an elite and passionate group of realtors whose investments shape the political future of the real estate industry. Major investors are eligible to participate in the RPAC recognition program with specific benefits and accolades that acknowledge their support of RPAC. The following outline the different major investor levels. Golden Circle investors invest $5,000 a year in RPAC donation, and Sterling R investors invest $1,000 a year in RPAC donations. You can also become a President Circle investor if you are a Sterling R investor who contributes directly to a realtor-friendly candidate at the federal level. The President Circle program supports realtor champions, members of Congress who have made significant achievements to advance the realtor public policy agenda. Thank you again to these major investors who will also be recognized on the NOR website as well as in the Finley Courier and the Toledo Blade. Diamond Club members invest between $500 and $999 in RPAC and include these members. Capital Club members are those who invest between $200 and $499 in RPAC, and Ohio Club members invest between $100 and $199 in RPAC. Thank you to everyone who invested in RPAC and for your dedication to protecting the industry that means so much to all of us past year has shown the importance of realtors coming together with one voice to protect the real estate industry. If you'd like to be a 2021 major investor, you can start your investment now. Simply make an investment using the Make a NORPAC Investment button on the single sign-on dashboard or email jody at nworealtors.com to set up monthly payments. 
Anyone who invests over $1,000 by February 28th will be entered into a drawing. One of five $100 Amazon gift cards will be the prize. Thank you all again for your generous support and let's make 2021 an even better year. Thank you again to all of our members who have invested in our pack and to Mark and his committee. Although the number of listings decreased by 9.5% compared to 2019, the number of homes sold increased 2.4% and the median sales price increased 10.7%. A complete look at 2000 can be found in the 2020 housing report, which will be emailed to all attendees this afternoon and available on our website next Monday. The Affiliate of the Year Award was started in 2013 and is awarded to an affiliate who has distinguished themselves by their service to NOR. The 2020 Affiliate of the Year is Christy Marino. Christy is the Marketing Director at Benchmark Mortgage and has served on NOR's Affiliate Committee and YPN Committee. You will often see Christy's smiling face at NOR events and sponsoring CE classes at the NOR office. Congratulations, Christy. I am so honored to be chosen as your 2020 NOR Affiliate of the Year. 27 years ago, I entered into this crazy world that we call real estate when two young brokers took a chance on a young girl, hired her in as their receptionist, and taught her everything they knew about real estate. Those two brokers were David Browning and Kevin Smith. For almost 14 years, I worked for Wellsborn Realtors. Not only was I lucky enough to learn about real estate from two of the top brokers in the industry, but I also had help from 60 to 75 of Toledo's top real estate agents who worked out of our office. Every day was a learning experience. It's also where I formed lifelong friendships that still remain to this day. Then came 2008, the year that changed everything for everybody that worked in real estate. Staff hours were cut, belts were tightened. There were also some big changes in my personal life. So when a new job opportunity came along, very unexpectedly, I took a sign from above and decided to pursue a totally different career. It was one of the hardest decisions I ever made. So when Megan took over as CEO of the Toledo Board of Realtors and created a new position for a communications director, my email was flooded with emails and information about the position and telling me that I would be the perfect fit. It was as if fate had stepped in again. I was so happy to be back. My job with TBR reconnected me with realtors, brokers, affiliates, friends. Fast forward, TBR led me to HBA, and then four years ago, I suddenly found myself without a job. This was on a Friday, and by Monday, word had spread, and the industry that I knew and loved had wrapped its arms around me tight and squeezed. By now, I think you all know where this is going. Those two new heroes, and now my bosses, are Ron Erdman and Vince Lyons. They've become my mentors, my friends, and my teachers of all things mortgage. I am so lucky to work for a company and with people that I truly believe in, respect, and who also support me. To have a job that I enjoy, that some days doesn't even seem like work, but a privilege, and one that allows me to support and serve this industry now as an affiliate. On behalf of myself and Benchmark Mortgage, I proudly accept the Northwest Ohio Realtors Affiliate of the Year Award, and I would like to dedicate my award to David Browning, 
who is always, always in my corner and who will always forever be in my heart. Thank you. In 2020, we created the Rookie of the Year Award. The Rookie of the Year is awarded to a member based on their first 12 months of performance in real estate and involvement in the association. The 2020 Rookie of the Year is Jim Blankenship. In addition to attending numerous NOR and industry events, Jim's volume in his first year was 2.7 million. Congratulations, Jim. I mean, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the board, obviously, for giving me this opportunity to uh, uh, to be Rookie of the Year. I'm very, very appreciative of it. Um, I'm very appreciative of Key Realty and everything they've done for me in this industry. And first and foremost, Dennis and Amy have just been wonderful. They gave me an opportunity. Um, they gave me a lot of direction in the industry, uh, a lot of support. Uh, Phil and Virginia um, here at Key also did the same. Many late, late night phone calls getting things taken care of, negotiating deals. I mean, I, I just can't uh, tell you how thankful I am for everything that they've done for me. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everybody that's you know, been a part of this for me and uh, helped me get through this starting out, uh, going from A to B, you know, where I started to where I am now. Uh, a lot of friends in the industry, um, Tyler Tree Size, I'd like to thank, one of my best friends, helping me get started. He's the one who drove me to, to get into the industry. Uh, Natasha Brown for always helping me out, um, especially when I go out of town, she kind of covers my business for me. Um, I'd like to thank a lot of the partners out there in the industry. Uh, when I started, Rick Deeb at Midwest gave me the opportunity, you know, and started working with me. Uh, Clark Jarsford at GBC Mortgage was absolutely wonderful. Uh, I do business with Keith Riley at Van Dyke Mortgage. All people that have done been wonderful and helped me through this. Um, a lot of other partners such as uh, Louisville title and Mike Beeler, um, Midland and Andy Shaw, or Chicago title and Jake Clapsell. These are just a lot of people I'd like to thank for working with me and, and giving me the opportunity to uh, be successful that I have been. So I decided to go with Key mainly because they allow me to reinvest in myself. So it was a great option. Um, I, I'm just uh, happy once again that they gave me that opportunity to be successful and it's really helped me uh, get to where I'm at. This year, Good Neighbor Award recipient is Johnny O with Remax Preferred Associates. Johnny has been deeply involved with Habitat for Humanity for over 25 years, and $500 donation will be made in Johnny's honor. Hi, everyone. Um, I was surprised and also humbled by receiving this award. Uh, I know there's a lot of you out there that do the same thing that I do every day. I've been associated with Habitat for a number of years. I started building homes when I was younger and more recently in the last 15 years have served as their realtor, finding homes for them and just trying to get people into more affordable housing. Habitat brings people together and, and what their model is is you know they build homes and communities and hope. Uh, I would like to thank John and Mangus and Kathy Kuya and, and my brokers for allowing me to do that. I'd like to thank my wife for for giving me the time and, and being my support through all these years. I guess in closing I would just like to say again thank you very much. I know all of you do the same thing that I do every day. Uh, there's a line from the from the Beatles album Abbey Road, and the and the name of the song is "The End." And the line is, "The love you take is equal to the love you make." I kind of keep that in my heart all the time. I've been fortunate to get a lot of love in my life, and I would like to continue to give life and give love to everyone. Still pass out love to everybody else in the community. So, thanks again and here's to a better year next year.
The Realtor of the Year Award was created in 1966 and is awarded to a member who has distinguished themselves by their service to NOR and the real estate community. The 2020 Realtor of the Year, Kent Hilty. Kent is an RPAC major investor and was the 2018 president of the Heartland Board of Realtors and was instrumental in the successful merger between the two associations. He is a member of Ohio Realtors President Sales Club, a graduate of the Ohio Realtors Leadership Academy, and past Ohio Realtors District Vice President. Congratulations, Kent. I'm Kent Hilde with Flag City Realtors in Finley. I feel very honored and proud to be named 2020 Realtor of the Year, the first Realtor of the Year for Northwest Ohio Realtors. Our newly formed board has been a great success in its first year, and I'm proud to have been a part of that. When I think of about filling out the application uh, after I was nominated, I really didn't expect to be chosen. After all, there's over 1,800 members in our board. But area, I was surprised at all the areas that get taken into consideration, things such as RPAC contributions, community service, service in the local board, uh, service at the state association, president sales club, a number of things like that. And it's very gratifying to know that all those things get noticed. It motivates me to continue to work hard to improve the real estate industry, my community, and to have a positive effect on those that I work with. Again, I'm Kent Hilde with Flag City Realtors, your 2020 Realtor of the Year. Thank you. It's an honor to present Jim Johnson the 2020 Affiliate Distinguished Service Award. Jim has served as the owner and president of Seagate Inspections since 1992. He has over 35 years of experience as a building consultant and has earned numerous professional certifications throughout his career. Jim has been a NOR affiliate for almost three decades. In 2016, Jim and his wife Amy earned the Affiliate of the Year Award from NOR. His dedication to his business, his craft, and the real estate industry have not gone unnoticed. Congratulations, Jim. Good morning, everyone. Boy, was I surprised when Megan and Lisa showed up at our office one day with this banner. No idea what it was all about. We're in the service business. And as I thought about distinguished service, uh, what came to mind was most people in our real estate industry just need help. And that help needs to come from someone that they can trust. To me, that's what distinguished service is all about. Thank you, Megan, Lisa, and the board for this recognition and for all that you do for our industry. And thank you for all uh, the rest of you who have opened doors for us for opportunities to serve your clients. The Distinguished Service Award was established in 2009. This award is given to an individual who has been actively involved in NOR and the real estate community. The 2020 Distinguished Service Award recipient is Lynn Fruth. Lynn served as TBR president in 1986 and is a recipient of 1988 Broker of the Year Award, 2014 Realtor of the Year, and was recipient of 2019 Good Neighbor Award. In addition to serving on numerous association committees, he was also a member of the Norris Board of Directors. He was a director for the Ohio Association of Realtors and chaired their Education Committee and Legal Action Committee. Lynn's involvement also extends to the National Association of Realtors, where he served as NAR Director and chaired the E&O Insurance Subcommittee, the Risk Reduction Subcommittee, the Strategic Planning Committee, and was a member of NAR's President's Advisory Group on Agency. Congratulations, Lynn. First of all, I want to thank you for this wonderful award. Uh, when I learned that David Browning had actually nominated me for this award, it became even more meaningful, so thank you. Uh, I have so many people that have influenced my life that instilled in me the concept of giving back. 
uh, too many to mention, so I won't try to mention them here, but I do want to share a few things about giving that I think might be useful. And I kind of speak into the choir because I know realtors as part of their natural DNA are givers. So uh, please, but please listen to these couple principles that I have. The first one is that there's more joy in giving than in receiving. And if you don't believe it, find something that you like some cause that you appeals to you and volunteer and find that out. Secondly, and this comes from the Bible, uh, God uh, prefers and loves a cheerful giver. And when you give, and that could be of your time, your talent, what you're good at, or your treasure, your finances, uh, do it joyfully and uh, you're gonna find out that you can be rewarded immensely. And then lastly, uh, this also comes from the Bible, and for you high achievers out there, to whom much is given, much is expected. And if you're really successful, my guess is you've already discovered this concept because it does contribute to your success. And then lastly, who you surround yourself with can be awfully, awfully important. And I've been blessed to be surrounded by my Danbury family, and they've helped pick up the slack when I do volunteer. And when I accept this award and thank you, it's also on behalf of them. So thank you again for this wonderful recognition and award. I'd like to take a moment to recognize Megan for all that she's done. She has been with us for 10 years and we would have loved to have been able to throw her a big party to celebrate, to be able to recognize her the way that she deserves. But because of COVID and this entire year, we had to do everything by Zoom. So Megan has been such a help. She has been a great leader and she's helped us, those of us that are leaders to look good. She's given us the information we need. She's given us the direction that we need to go in order to be able to fulfill these roles. So I've been so appreciative of everything she's done for me. And I know there are many other people that feel the same. So unfortunately, like I said, we didn't get to celebrate her in person, but we did have a few people that wanted to share their kind words and let Megan know how much they appreciate her. Hi Megan, there's really too much to condense into a 30 second video here, so uh, uh, I'll be brief, but um, uh, congratulations. 10 years, a uh, long time, a lot of struggles I'm sure, many more accomplishments. Uh, I think we're very, very lucky to have you, uh, certainly for 10 years. Megan, congratulations on 10 years of service uh, and leadership. Um, with our board. Um, I for one certainly appreciate your gui guidance and knowledge. Hi Megan, Mark and Sandra from the AA Green office here. We, uh, we heard you had a special anniversary and we wanted to uh, send a personal note to tell you uh, how uh, great it's been working with you the last 10 years. Hi Megan, just wanted to stop by and say congratulations on 10 years. What an accomplishment. Hey John here, uh, Megan. I just wanted to thank you for 10 amazing years at uh, Toledo Board of Realtors, Northwest Ohio Realtors, uh, TRAR, Norris, whatever acronym uh, you're working under. Thank you for being part of the success of our local trade association. Hi Megan, hey, I want to congratulate you on your 10 year anniversary with our association. I wanted to tell you, you had so many great accomplishments in the last 10 years. Hi Megan, we just want to reach out and say happy 10 year anniversary with the board. We obviously appreciate everything you do and so happy to have you. Hey Megan, thanks for sticking with us for 10 years. Over the last 10 years, we have fought like sisters. But um, I absolutely adore you like I would a normal older sister and just thanks for all you do for us. 
Hey, Megan, thanks for all you do. I'm glad, or I'm sure you're glad to receive this video from probably your four biggest uh, fans <laughs> and uh, probably your best students too. You never have any issues with us at all. Um, so again, thank you for all you do and we look forward to many more years with you. Hey, Megan, congratulations on your anniversary. I, I'm, I really do apologize for bringing these three yahoos into your life, but it's just part of your maturation and development. You love challenges, and I know they are a challenge. And I uh, just wish you many, many more years as head of our local organization. It's no secret that 10 years ago, the Toledo Board of Realtors had a leadership problem, a big problem. But we girded our loins, we made a change, and we hired a remarkable leader. Megan, it's been a wonderful decade. Hello, Megan. Hi, it's Doug Pitkowski with Epic Homes and our whole team here. We'd like to congratulate you on 10 years of service with Northwest Ohio Realtors. We certainly appreciate all your efforts and your work over the last 10 years, and we look forward to a great future with you. This year, six individuals are retiring from the Board of Directors. They have dedicated numerous hours to serving the members of NOR. Although they will no longer be serving on the Board of Directors, I know they will continue to be involved. I've had the pleasure of working with them and I want you to join me in thanking past President Jason Westendorf, Tori Crawl, Sarah Ford, Debbie Hafner, Joe Lyman, and Kevin Warren. Megan and I were able to deliver a small token of appreciation to each of them and look forward to being able to recognize them in person soon. In a few minutes, I will join the prestigious group of past presidents. I now know firsthand the amount of time and dedication these men and women have given to this organization. A list of all past presidents is in your program. And although we can't thank you in person, Please know we're grateful for your leadership and dedication to the association. Looking back as president in 2020, it was definitely an interesting year. It wasn't the year I thought I would have, but I was okay with it. We learned right away in March that we were gonna have to adjust how we do business and we're gonna have to provide information to our agents as well as homeowners on how we can continue on during the pandemic. I am so thankful that I had Megan and her guidance and leadership. I'm thankful that OR, NAR stepped up to the plate and they were able to keep us as an essential business. This year, I learned a lot. I learned how to adjust and adapt to our new environment. I also spent a lot of time at home, Zoom calls, Zoom meetings, virtual showings, doing all, of, all that we could to provide home ownership. I have to thank my family for putting up with it. I know there were many times I had to make them sit quietly while I finished my call or my next video, but they were, they were happy to do so. I just wanna say thank you to everybody. I appreciate all your support. I'm looking forward to 2021. I know Joan, you're gonna do a great job and I am going to be there to help on the board and hopefully we can accomplish many things this year. So thank you again and I will see you around. At last year's annual business meeting, Lisa closed the evening by saying, in the year ahead, we face a number of challenges as a group of real estate professionals. And regardless of which company you represent, I want you to challenge yourself to learn as much as you can about the industry and embrace the advancing technology. Who knew just three months later, the challenges we would be facing and how quickly we would have to embrace those new technologies. Every year I try to find a quote that captures the leadership style of the outgoing president. As I was thinking about Lisa's leadership over the past year, I was reminded of the starfish story. It's the story of a little boy walking on the beach, throwing the washed up starfish back into the ocean. When told by a passerby that there are too many starfish on the beach to make a difference, the boy throws one back in and responds, I made a difference to that one. I know it's not your typical leadership quote, but Lisa is not your typical leader. Lisa has said numerous times this year that she didn't feel like she was doing enough for our members. Lisa's ability to think through an issue and her amazing communication skills were just what the association needed this year. 
She definitely made a difference in my life and I know she made a difference in all of our members. I know it wasn't the year she envisioned and how much she regrets not being able to interact with our members in person. But just like that little boy by himself on the beach, she was behind the scenes helping make decisions that positively affected all of your businesses. Earlier this week, I presented Lisa with a necklace with a starfish pendant to thank her for her service this past year and to remind her of the difference she made in the association. The electronic voting for the 2021 to 2023 term of the Board of Directors took place in December. The individuals who have been elected are Emily Bailey, Eddie Campos, Monica Davis, Mary Jo Fisher, Small Brokerage Representative, Stephanie Kuhlman, Commercial Representative, Kim Rose, Greater Bowling Green Real Estate Representative. And the 2021 officers are Joan Raw, President, Tony Bassett, President-Elect, Lisa Smith, Past President, and Mark Remus, Norris Rep. The 2021 Treasurer will be elected by the Board of Directors at their first meeting next week. Because this year's annual business meeting is being held virtually, Kathy Kuyath from Remax Preferred Associates installed the newly elected directors and officers via Zoom earlier this week. Okay, please raise your right hand. You solemnly and sincerely promise that you will administer the office to which you have been elected to the best of your ability and judgment in conformity but with the bylaws and constitution of Northwest Ohio Realtors. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do that you will observe and enforce the code of ethics of the realtor organization, that you will uphold and support the Ohio Real Estate Commission and its enforcement of license law, that you will uphold and support the Ohio Association of Realtors and National Association of Realtors, that you will in all, all of your acts be governed by the principles of honesty, justice, and fair play, and in every manner possible endeavor to promote the safeguard of the best interest of the state and high purposes of your board and the welfare of its membership. If you so subscribe, answer by saying, I do. I do. I do. I do. Congratulations. Welcome to the board. Welcome to your leadership position. Um, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Congratulations to all of our incoming board members. I look forward to working with you this year. Now it is tradition for the association to present a president's gavel and pin to the new president. Like so many other things this year, we couldn't do that. However, Joan will receive it at the first board of directors meeting next week. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for tuning in to the 2021 annual meeting. 2020, no one would have been able to predict the past year of COVID-19 and the unrest of our nation. As I begin my term as NOR president, I must reflect on how while well Megan, the NOR staff, Lisa, our NOR president, our executive committee, directors, and our NOR members stepped up to face the challenges this past year has presented. We quickly had to come up with addendums, rule changes, and relearn how to do the business. I know there was not one of us that was unaffected by COVID-19 in some way. I cannot tell you how proud I am of our realtor family and our members for all rising to the challenges of 2020 and making it work. Our industry in Ohio was blessed to be able to work through it all. This was made possible because of a strong influence of RPAC, Governor DeWine declaring real estate an essential business in Ohio. I have been part of the realtor profession since 1993 and I felt it was time to give back to my industry. I became a director with hopes of becoming your president. My dream is now here, and I move forward with excitement, some nerves, but mostly ready to serve you all to the best of my abilities. It is time to move forward and to meet the new challenges head on. In the year ahead, I will strive to help our members open communication pathways, hopefully get back to in-person training, and always to try try to improve on helping our new agents to get the right start. We will also continue to work with the task force on diversity and do our part in diversity and inclusion efforts. I also plan to create community service task force to give back to the people in our area. I hope that soon we will be back together in person. 
but we must remember that your safety and the safety of your clients comes first. I want to congratulate our new board members and our 2020 award winners. Your dedication, hard work, and time to our industry and our community is so appreciated. I am blessed, I am grateful, I am honored to be your 2021 NOR president. Thank you again for your support. Have a great day and remember to always be kind. Thank you.